This is video one for the whistle design project. In this project, you're going to either uh, create a stock whistle where all the steps are laid out for you, or you can choose to create your custom whistle where you do some research, uh, create your own sketch, and uh, take that sketch with dimensions and create the whistle in on shape. Or you could choose to take this standard whistle and make uh, modifications to it as well. Step one, we're just going to draw that profile of the whistle. So if you can take a look, we're going to go over to Onshape. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click down on this document menu and we're going to go to Workspace Units. The default units are inches. We want to change that to millimeters for this one. So again, you can see we're not creating a whistle that's 22 inches long. We're creating it 22. Uh, Millimeters. So again, to find that drop down menu here with the three lines, workspace units, and you can then the first option you can choose centimeters, feet, inches, meters, millimeters, and so on. We're going to choose the millimeter option and then click on the green check mark. So once we've done that, we're going to create a sketch and we're going to lay that sketch down on the front plane. I'm sorry, the top plane, I apologize. And then we're going to click the top of our navigation cube and we're going to grab our line tool. We're going to go at the center point, the zero, zero mark, and we're going to make an 11 millimeter line. We're then going to go up six millimeters, over 22 millimeters. Then I'm going to escape my line tool. I'm going to grab my arc tool. I'm going to start at the uh, origin point and where I left off. And I want to create an arc with a radius of 12.5 millimeters. So if you can take a look as we now have that initial sketch for that profile, the next thing that we're going to do is extrude that 10 millimeters. So I'm going to come up to my extrude button. I'm going to change this to 10 millimeters. So if we take a look now, we have that half of that whistle. We're going to build each half at a time. Well, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to want to create that opening. And the way that we're going to create that opening is by using the shell tool. So I'm going to come up here and click on my shell tool. I'm going to click on the top face. And I'm going to click on the face where the opening is. I want to change my shell thickness to two millimeters. So what you can see now is I have the uh, origin of our, that half whistle that's starting to take shape. So next what we're going to create is the opening for the air uh, to come out of in that whistle. So I'm going to rotate my sketch slightly. I'm going to grab a sketch and I want to place my sketch on that inside face right there. So you can see I laid that sketch paper. I'm going to grab my rectangle tool. And what I want to do is where this line extends here and meets with that bottom line, you can see it's highlighted. I'm going to draw a rectangle. The height of the rectangle doesn't matter. What matters is the width of the rectangle. That needs to be 2.5 inches. The reason the height doesn't matter is we're just looking to do an extrusion to cut this piece out. So we're going to click on extrude. We're going to change it to remove to go in the opposite direction. And what you can see now is we've now cut that opening for our whistle. So we can see it from the top view there as well. In the next video, we'll uh, continue to move on through the steps to create our whistle.